Has there ever been a point in your life where you've tried to pick up something new, perhaps a new skill or a hobby or you've enrolled on a course, something to improve yourself? So you give it a go, bursting with enthusiasm and you even make some headway. However, at some point you encounter a small speed bump that slows your progress. You start feeling frustration, progress just isn't as fast as you'd like, you question why you even started this in the first place, this is dumb, and you throw in the towel and you quit. I've done that a lot in the past too. However, in the last four years, my hit rate for things that I've tried and stuck with has increased dramatically. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how I do it. Because of this weird job that I have on YouTube, I've kind of been forced to develop a technique that works for me. I've created a situation where I need to start new projects all the time and see them to completion in order to produce content. So I needed a strategy that reduces my likelihood of quitting early on, increases my enjoyment whilst I'm learning something new, and gets me results fast. There's nothing magic here, there's no hack. It's simple optimization. But after 50 novel skills learned from scratch, I can say that this technique really works and you can start implementing everything here right away, today. To give this method some weight, I thought I'd learn something new, something that's really, really difficult so you can see the process in action, step by step and follow along. So you have to decide what it is you want to do. Without a goal, you can't score. And whatever it is, make it clear and concise. I want to learn to play a song on the guitar called Mazurlu by Dick Dale. You probably know it from the intro of Pulp Fiction, probably the greatest intro of all time. Everybody be cool, this is a robbery! Execute every motherfucking last one of you. I can't play it yet. That intro scene is just ah, uh, and the way it ties back into the rest of the plot later on in the movie, it's my favourite movie. Pulp Fiction is my all-time favourite. And the guitar part from that song is insane. It's at 170 beats per minute, which is super fast. So I can already play the guitar. I'm pretty proficient at it, but I cannot pick that fast. That's way faster than I can do. So I need to build up some muscles in my hands and arms and also develop technique here. In addition to having a clearly defined goal, you need to ask yourself why it is you want to do this. Establishing a reason for this will help you further down the line when you feel like throwing in the towel. It could be for work or for fitness, but in this case, I just want to learn this because it's really cool and I love that movie and learning how to pick really fast will help me with other aspects of guitar. And that's totally cool. Here's where I always used to have problems. I'd have a skill I wanted to learn and a goal I'd want to achieve, but I'd end up hesitating at the start. Reading up on the skill, researching tutorials, finding out what gear I was supposed to use or what technique I'd have to learn. So to play this, I'd really like to have the right tone to actually sound like the right guitar. So this song's played on a Stratocaster. This is kind of a Stratocaster. He originally played through a Fender app. I don't even have an amp. He put really, really heavy strings on his guitar which, and if I did that, I would have to set the whole guitar up again. I'd expend so much effort before I'd actually tried something out that I'd eventually think, this all seems a bit daunting. I don't really have the gear, and the more I read, the more I think about, this will actually be really difficult. Probably best to just throw in the towel now to save myself getting disappointed. What a load of crap. Trust me, if there's one thing that you take from this video, it's just start. Nothing is more likely to make you quit than hyping up the task at hand before you've even started. Just begin. Stop looking up gear, stop looking up techniques, stop trying to avoid looking like a fool. Just begin. Stop being a little bitch and just pick up the guitar, you fool. All right, all right, geez. I'll start. This is day one. Hour zero. This channel has forced me to do this because of the time constraint. 
and it's had a remarkable effect on my learning because I've attempted so many different things as opposed to just not trying them out in the first place. Just start, trust me. So you're filled with enthusiasm for this new endeavor, you're pumped to make headway, so you decide to dedicate an entire Saturday to making progress. You're gonna get awesome at this in just one day. After two hours, you've made some progress. This is good. After four hours, you're starting to feel a little bit of fatigue, however. Performance is dwindling. Morale starts to dip. Maybe this isn't gonna be as easy as you thought. After a whole day, you start thinking, I've put in eight bloody hours at this and I've got nowhere. Ugh. This will take years. I suck at this. I quit. This is not the way to learn. Sadly, I've fallen into this trap far too many times. Ironically, in this scenario, it's your enthusiasm that causes your downfall. Smashing through an eight hour session will make you fatigued, which will cause a dip in your performance, which shatters your mood. And this is what causes you to quit. You want to keep your morale high. The Pomodoro technique is the answer. This is nothing but exercising restraint and doing 25 minutes of work before taking a short five minute break. That's it. And it makes a huge difference. There's less non-productive time, your morale stays high, it's easier to concentrate, and frustration is reduced. However, this is surprisingly difficult to stick to, really. So download a Pomodoro app or just simply use a timer and stick to the timer. The key to avoiding that feeling of wanting to quit is to mitigate against frustration and feeling demotivated. And to do that, you need to make progress, which means that you need to train, practice, or study in an optimized way. When I look back at how aimless I used to be when picking up something new, it's no wonder that I often threw in the towel simply because progress was too slow. Over the last couple of years, however, I've been practicing smarter, taking a look at the task at hand and the bottleneck between me and the goal I want to achieve and asking myself, how do I get better at that? Approaching this a bit more logically and deliberately. So I need to be able to play at 170 beats per minute, but if I try that now when I'm not ready, which is this speed. I just, yeah. So if I just kept on doing this, just kept failing on the first two bars because I can't keep up, I would eventually feel really deflated. So what I'm gonna do is I've got this is loaded into software that I can slow the track down. I'm gonna slow it right down to 140 beats per minute. That way I can get much further into the song. I can practice the whole song. It's still not perfect, but I'm getting to practice. See? Smart. Diagnose problems you're having and attack them with a more deliberate approach. It's so common to just avoid problems because it doesn't feel good to deal with them, but that's just gonna cause problems down the line. So if you have a slice in your golf game, get a lesson dealing specifically with that. And if you're really good at pull-ups but still can't muscle up, focus more on technique using resistance bands. Use technology to give you an edge. Film yourself to spot mistakes. Use a trainer app to help guide you. Be more purposeful with your training rather than just spending time doing it. At some point, you will experience some sort of dip, a frustrating lull or plateau in performance. And at that point, which will happen, take a break. I'm not going into the office today and I'm not gonna play guitar from home either. I'm getting a little bit frustrated because my wrist is sore and it's preventing me from practicing. So I'm just gonna take a break. I'm not gonna get pissed off anymore. So I'm gonna sit down with a decent book and take a day off. You're trying to avoid getting so angry that you can no longer remember why you started doing this in the first place, or you can no longer see a net positive result for the effort that you're putting in. So take a few days off, it'll do you good. 
And remember that enthusiasm and tenacity may actually work against you if you angrily plow on. So put your feet up for a while and let the red mist dissipate. When things do start to go your way, capitalize on it. You wanna link that hard work and effort that you've put in to the rewarding feeling of achieving a goal. You wanna make that connection in your brain. By doing that, you'll carry over perseverance and confidence from this task into the next thing that you attempt. And I really don't think that people do this enough. So when I get good at something, I usually make a bit of a song and dance about it, usually using a camera. That's why I always do a montage at the end of my video. It's a celebration. You achieved something. Check this out. This episode was supported by Fender Play, the easiest way to learn guitar, bass, or ukulele. Play features thousands of bite-sized video lessons delivered by real artists teaching you skills and techniques that'll get you playing songs in minutes. It works on all your devices too, iPhone, iPad, Android, so you can learn anywhere and is designed for all ages and abilities. One thing I really loved about this was even as someone who is quite advanced on the guitar but who wanted to brush up on one particular skill, I was able to just search for the skill which was tremolo picking and within minutes I was refining my technique. Fender Play has crazy high quality video shot from multiple angles so you can actually see what's going on and it has a progress tracker to help keep you motivated which will stop you from quitting. You can try it out for 14 days using the free trial, the link is below. And if you end up going for the annual plan, you'll get 10% off Fender guitar amps and gear. So check it out, the link is in the description. And by doing that, you'll be helping to support the show. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.